Well, here we are back at the uh, Cave of Science, and we're going to look at Kepler's third law of planetary motion. Kepler's third law states the square of the orbital period, or how long it takes the, uh, the planet or the object to circle the sun, and this is measured in years, is proportional, proportional, I forgot the T up there, to the cube of the semi-major axis of its orbit. Well, what we're really looking at here, and we'll put this next one up for you, is uh, most orbits are nearly circular. And so with that, we're just going to put the sun in the center. And the semi-major axis is really going to be the radius of the, of, the, uh, of the orbit. And you can see that right here. And this distance is measured at AUs. And 1 AU is the sun to earth distance. And that happens to be 93 million miles. Uh, we're just going to call that distance an AU. The period, or the time it takes a planet or some object to uh, revolve around the sun, is going to be in years. So the, the units we're going to work with here are distance is going to be measured in AUs and period is going to be in years. So let's take a look at a couple problems here. And our, our formula is going to end up being, we have the period squared equals that length of the semi-major axis. Or really, if you want to think about it, it's really the distance from the uh, sun to the planet, that being a cubed. So let's just say we've got Oh, we've got some object, and it's rotating around the uh, the sun, and it has an average distance from the sun. Sun is about 2.7 AU's, and we want to know how long it takes, or we want to know the period. So we know a is 2.7 AUs and we want to know the period. So we know P squared equals 2.7 cubed. Well if we go ahead and take our calculator and do the math 2.7 and hopefully you can find the uh, the cubed button or the x to the exponent power on your calculator uh, let's see, I have it here somewhere. Oh yeah, here it is here. So we know P squared equals about 19.9. And so we can take the square root of each side. So we can take 19.9 take the square root and we take the square root of that and we come out with approximately 4.4 so P is about 4.4 years Well, likewise, you can you can do this this problem in reverse too. Let's take p. We can do the, another problem. P squared equals a cubed. And let's say it takes. Oh, let's just say for grins, we're looking at Pluto or something. And let's say p equals 619 years. And we want to know how far away Pluto is from the Sun. Well, we know the formula is P squared equals A cubed. So we can square 619. And you should be able to do that on your calculator. 619 squared. And that's about 383,161. 383 161 equals a cube. So we want to take the cube of each side and hopefully you can find that on your calculator. 
And if we take the cube of each side, we find the distance, or A, is going to be about 72.6 AUs. So this is a fairly straightforward formula. You'll have to be given one of the two. You'll either have to be given the period, or you have to be given the uh, astronomical distance. And you're either going to square something, cube something, to find the answer there. Uh, we're going to do some problems in, in class with this, uh, but this is this is really, you know, fairly straightforward. And uh, if you can punch numbers in the calculators, uh, you'll do pretty good on this. So that pretty much ends this edition.